Hey everybody, we're back. It's part two of this video. Um, I'm really excited to be back here opening this Game of Thrones box. Uh, the first first pool was pretty good on the first box. Uh, I got three autographs if you remember. I will run those back really quick because uh, maybe some people didn't even watch the first one. But look, that's double autograph on that card, which is cool. They promised two autographs a box. And we got three in one box, so that's pretty cool. Um, $75 for one box. I also got a numbered card. I thought that was pretty sick. Uh, this is number 52 of 175. So there's only um, 11,000 boxes. I mean, yeah, I say there's only... this. Like I said, this set got released in 2020. So, I mean, there's still, like, some time left before these go up in value. But I think that they're going to go up big because Game of Thrones was a huge show. And the books are still coming out. We have to think about that. Show's not even finished. But uh, today, here I am again. We're going to open the second box here. This is number 7,221. I'm back here with Tiger again. Uh, he's the sleeve man. He's over there sleeving for me today. And I really appreciate his help. Uh, I'm going off camera to just slice the box open. Because knives get dangerous, people. And don't forget that, you know. Make sure you use safety when you're operating with a box cutter. All right, so we're gonna peel the plastic off of this box. As you can see, I haven't pulled it yet. It's number, okay. I'm not gonna say it again, because I've already said it. All right, we're gonna flip the box up so it's cool. Looks like, uh, you know, Ned Stark, he's sitting on the throne up there. Here we go. So what's guaranteed in this box, I'll tell you right now, there's five cards in each pack and there's also three guaranteed autograph cards. Well, no, there's two. Last box I pulled three. That wasn't guaranteed. There's guaranteed two. Um, I thought there was wardrobe cards in these as well, but there's not. That's okay. So we're going to pull all the packs out of the box just because uh, I noticed last time I was having some trouble with my dexterity in my fingers. And I want to get in a rhythm here because we're looking for autographs, people. And we're looking to turn a profit on these cards. I'm not trying to sit here and collect them. I want to make money, people. We're talking money today. So here we go. We'll leave this right there. We're looking for a Daenerys Targaryen card. I don't even know if I said that correctly, but she's worth about $30,000. And if I pull that, wow. I will be ecstatic. So we're looking for autographs. Here we go. Nothing. I have that card already. I saw it in the last pool. This spans all the complete series. There's, you're gonna find cards from every season in this collection, I believe. Uh, nothing again. A lot of spoilers here for people that didn't watch the show. I don't know why you'd be watching this uh, card pool though if you uh, didn't watch the show. But I mean, I guess it makes sense. You're just after money like me. You're looking for the profit, people, and that's okay. Sunspear, that's cool. I really feel like we're going to get a different assortment of cards here, too, because just because it's the second box in addition, uh, you know, like right in a row numerically. Uh, Tiger, if you could sleeve that one there, that'd be great. Okay. You're the man. So we're burning and turning here. Uh, we're pulling through another pack here. Let's see what we got. Come on, auto. Honestly, I wouldn't be that upset if we pulled the auto at the end because, you know, it builds suspense and it makes me feel like I'm working for it. Granted, I feel like I've already worked for it by spending my money. <laughs> All right. Five cards a deck. Oh! Samantha Spiro. Oh, man. House Flaren. I like that they she did a little, like, customization there. Uh, a little inscription? Yeah, a little inscription. It makes the card custom. makes it feel like it's really something crazy. That's fucking cool. Oop. Yeah. That's cool. I just said the F word by accident. You can, it. can I? Yeah. Do you know how to? Yeah, right. It's a skill. <laughs> it's a shame. It's all right. It's not like I'm making money on these videos. I'm just doing it because I'm making money on camera. I think the first two minutes is like the major thing. You're not supposed to curse. But yeah, the whole video, I guess, helps. Yeah, I'm sure they have some like crazy analytic thing. Oh, well. Let's get <laughs> past it, you know? We're past it now. Past it. 
Wow, cool cards. No autograph. Next. <laughs> I'd like to get an like an Ice King or a, a White Walker, uh, you know, the Night King autograph. Ooh, That'd be, sweet. be spooky. Or an Arya, you know, mainly the Daenerys Targaryen. But, you know. Jason Momoa. I wonder if he's got a card. He went on to be Aquaman. Speaking of him, I think that's him right there. Jason Momoa. He went on to be like a sensation and it's weird because he was only in like one season and people say that like, that's where he got his break game of thrones but like how he was only in one season damn look at this so this is the non-numbered card of what i got the numbered one much cooler Oop. tossing cards around because they don't matter those cards i mean uh, they might matter you know see the ones that people usually throw out end up being worth the most that's what it usually ends up being All right. Whoa, got another one here. The Broken Man. Oh, the Baratheons. Cool. Cool card. We'll get that sleeve because I guess it's pretty sick. All right, next pack. And we are looking for an auto. Ooh, the climb. This looks like it's numbered. 154 out of 175. I like the 54. Everybody knows that's my favorite number, as I stated in part one. Tiger with the sleeve. Good looks. All right. Next pack. Nothing crazy. Whoa, they exist. Whoa. I got a wardrobe card. Yeah. Nice. Tyrion Lannister wardrobe card. Wow. And Daenerys Targaryen wardrobe card. Double? Yeah, double wardrobe card. Wow, this could be worth crazy money. Oh my god, the sweat on my hands. Please take that. Let me see the cutter. Yep. Uh, the cutter too. Yep. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow, my hands are perspirating. That was crazy. <laughs> now I wonder if I will still get an autograph. Uh, did we we got one autograph already or no? Uh, one. One. I wonder if I'll still get an autograph card, even though I got that crazy so. card. You think? I mean, seems very unlikely, but I'd be very you know I'm okay if I don't. But that would be sick if I do. That was insane. That was a Denarius card, technically still. Yeah. You know, how's it look? Does it look okay? Did I peel it like a no, idiot? Oh my god, I'm so excited about that. That was so cool. Whoa, signature! It looks really nice. Rebecca Benson. I wonder if she's related to comedian Doug Benson. Probably mm. probably not. Talia Tarly. Cool. And we're going to the pile next. Alright, well, we're getting down to it. I'd love to pull like another like type of uh, card like that. Oh my gosh, that was a beautiful card, man. What a beautiful piece. This guy was pretty cool. He was like a rugged guy, you know? He did a lot of shrugs and like, uh, grunts. He was a grunting guy. That's like mainly what his acting purpose was, to grunt a lot and shake his head no. Uh, we'll get that sleeved. Just amazing, man. Just amazing. I'm already, so I'm, I'm honestly happy with my return already. Even if I paid 150 just for that, you know, this, this beauty right here. Wow, that's amazing. Tyrion Lannister, he was a, one of my favorite characters. And then you got Daenerys Targaryen. She was a smoke show, obviously, in the show. Very attractive. But now I have a piece of their cloth from this scene right here, which is very cool. And we're back. All right. I, I'm very, like, doubtful that we're going to pull anything exciting in the rest of these. Wow. Yeah, I like these relics. That's one of the coolest cards I've seen, and that could pretty much influence me to buy a case right after this video. And by then, it will be off of eBay, people. You will not have a shot at it. I'm just kidding. 
There's plenty on eBay, and honestly, you can get and good value. Can take the mark. For seventy-five dollars a card, you can get. Oh, Rob Stark! Hey there, buddy. That's a cool looking card. Rob Stark. He was a cool character. Man, I'm still thinking about that wardrobe card and how awesome that was. It'd be cool if there was like, up. Oh, there's a piece of a sword in here. Yeah, that'd be sick. You know? It's really good condition though. I'm just looking over it. Yeah, I'm really happy with that card. It's definitely worth getting graded. Uh, what, what do you think a card like that costs to get graded? I mean, how do you have to do, go about that? Is it it's like... It's a little more just because it's like a thicker card. Yeah, I guess it's like a... What, it's like it's the similar to getting a jersey card graded, I would yeah. assume. Yeah. I guess that would be like a category. Pretty much, yeah. Hmm. And we're down to our last pack. Feels feels nice. Yeah, I'm very happy with that that uh, that Lannister card there with Daenerys. Uh, it was a cool little interaction card. I mean, they always interacted. And that's the end of it there. Uh, we're going to bring back what I pulled out of this box here. Um, we'll start with the worst. Uh, well, I guess not the worst, but they're still cool. Auto. Hollow. Numbered. Uh, storybook card. Another auto. And then we got a location card. And then we got the cloth card. Cloth talk, as Khaled would say. But yeah, that's cool. It's very cool. Authentic clothing. I touched it with my thumb. That's cool. Yeah, that's my favorite card, definitely. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we'll be back with more.